Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. In today's episode, we are charging through Spyro, the Year of the Dragon, of course, and we're basically technically all set up to go and take on the Enchantress, the final boss. But before we do that, I wanna actually go back to the beginning of the game and actually fully complete everything. There's still quite a few levels we need to get to and finish things up with because either we didn't have an ability or there were certain levels blocked off that we had to come back to. So that's gonna be our goal now, is before the Enchantress, get everything fully complete so that when we beat her, we have have the full 100% setup going on. So let's go back to Sunrise Spring. It may be a bit of a long episode, but hopefully it'll be a fun one as well. I'm excited for it. Hopefully you are too. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started as we enter the Sunrise Spring world. All right, so the first thing I wanted to check out is that, yeah, there is something here. I wanna check that out later though, because there's still a level we already have unlocked that I've yet to complete, and that's Molten Crater. I think that there was actually a uh, I think it was a Sergeant Bird thing here that we had to do. So we're just gonna go here, get the two eggs, get the remainder of the gems. I think it was like 31% we need to get. So let's go ahead and get it. All right, so I do remember this level. So yeah, we're just gonna have Sparks lead us to... Well, well yeah, we've already talked to you and have dealt with all that. So all we're trying to do here is get to that little spot, which should be right over here. We have everything opened up and everything. Looks like it, yeah, I do remember this portal. So we'll go into that, we'll see what ends up happening, and hopefully all will be well. This is pretty nostalgic for me now. I haven't played this in a little while, of course. And yeah, it was Sergeant Bird. Step inside, old chum. All right, let's go, let's go and figure it out. And after we get this done, we'll move to the second world and everything, and it just sort of starts. That's weird, usually, I'm okay. I'm a game of hide and seek with my friends. If I can't find where they've hidden their heads, they won't let me join the Tiki Lodge. Help me put them back together, and I'll make you an honorary member. All righty. So we need to find five tiki hats. When you find a head, land on top of it to pick it up. Then fly it over to an idle body to put them back together. Gotcha. All right, then we'll do that. And I'm guessing these little guys are our health, but these birds are probably protecting it. So let's get rid of the birds as well. And are they gonna be dropping gems? I can only hope, right? We'll go ahead and grab this guy. Yeah, there's plenty of gems to get around here. Wait, you're back already? That was really quick, I just turned around. But that was not a head that was a body. So we'll be looking around for some heads around here. This is super weird, but I do like it. So yeah, like I said, it might be a long episode as we try to get through everything. Get rid of this toucan. That's what it is. Looks like it. Is this a head? Indeed it is. So I should just be able to grab it from above. I'm gonna wait for this to spit out some fire. Got it. And let's fly around. Excuse me. I got places to be. And do I just put it down like that? Yes, I do. Okay, that's one out of five. Oh, and there's one right here the whole time. <laughs> I didn't even see that. It's a little dark in this room. Ow, oh, that was rude. Did I just drop it? Oh no. Oh no, it's right there. All right. Can we get rid of these two or no? I don't know, this is weird so far. Okay, now that they're gone, they're not gone for very long as you can see, which is super weird. There's another body and there's another body. Where are the heads? Three bodies right here. So actually, I think we know where all the rest of the bodies are then. We just gotta f find the heads. I don't know why these birds respond so quickly. I mean, really, responding enemies like this in Spyro 3 is not really a common thing in any of the Spyro games, really. So I don't know what's going on with that. Anyways, we'll go ahead and grab this guy. This is head number three, so hopefully we can make this work. Whoa, got it. And we'll just put it on this body right over this way. Gotcha. Three out of five. So we've gone down that pit. Oh, here we go. What is this? Is this something? It's an egg, it's Luna. Oh, cool. Hello, Luna. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Luna. Let's head back this way. There's some birds covering this entrance, but I was able to make my way inside, okay. Couple of gems, a, a flaming fire spitting thing. Got it, okay. How are we doing on the gems? We only need like, 24 more that I think that said, so we'll get there and there's that other room we can get into from over there, so probably where the last head will be. Got it. So let's figure this out. I'm gonna dodge out as much as I can. Sometimes it's just, ow, easier to be on the floor. Yeah, I do see this right here. But is that it? When it comes to gems, we'll have to look around a little bit more. Cause I, ow, I didn't even see that one. Come on, come on, you can get it. There we go, good job, Sergeant. Oh, well, there were some uh, at the very beginning that we missed out on. Okay. And got it. Take this egg as a sign of your honorary membership to the lodge. Nice. Okay, we get Ryan. Hello, Ryan. You're born now. 
It's weird, that's like a very common type of dragon. I hope it's not a bad omen. Nah, I don't think so. So there's all of the eggs, but we're still missing a little bit when it comes to gems. How much? Five. So I just missed like a blue gem somewhere, or purple. Where exactly is it? Oh, right here. Gotcha. All right, we'll let that plop down, and boom, we got all 400 gems, so we are good to get out of here and check out the extra new level. I, that's what I think it is. Not entirely, oh gosh, sure, to be honest with you. Get out of here. Where's the exit? Oh, it's right here the whole time. Didn't need to jump off or anything, but I did. But yeah, I think that there's one extra thing. We'll go ahead and check it out to be sure. Okay, so with that level done, let us make our way over here and see what this is about. There's been a little spark sign in every single world of the game so far. Spyro, I found an egg, but only sparks will be able to reach it. There's a small hole that leads to a crawdad farm. I can take him there if he's ready. Oh, that sounds super cool. Enter the crawdad fa farm bonus world. This is super awesome. I like it. So we get to play as sparks. Oh, that sounds so cool. All right. I mean, I, I love these kind of things because, you know, we see that with some of the other like duo platforms like Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, where at first you can only play Ratchet, you can only play Jack. Hello, but... Sparks. Before you take on those nasty crawdads, I should give you some help. To start, let's practice shooting. Press the attack button to shoot these targets. Gotcha. Well, what I was saying is that like, but eventually in those games, you got to play as Daxter, you got to play as Clank, and that was always pretty cool. And now we get to play as Sparks. Oh, this is like a top-down thing? Oh, that's super fun! I like that. And even in like Sly Cooper, you got to eventually play as like Bentley and the other guy you I'm forgetting. You can also move quickly by pressing the charge button, like Spyro. Use your charge to chase down this fast enemy. Alrighty. So he, did, he ain't just eating butterflies no more. He's beating guys up himself. This is his own adventure. <laughs> that is super cool. Now for the hard part. Being a maneuverable dragonfly, you can also strafe in any direction. To strafe, hold down the roll left or roll right button, then move with the left stick. Try strafing to hit the targets in this room. Alrighty, so strafing. Oh, I see, okay, I got it. So you can sort of hold your direction and then just be able to do this because like normally you'd just be going like that, but if I wanna go up and be facing left, I gotcha. On your travels, you'll notice butterflies that give you health, just like in the dragon worlds. Not only that, but some butterflies will give you special powers, though only for a short time. Just eat any power-up butterfly, then press the jump button to use that power-up. Your power-up is shown in the top right of the screen. Awesome, okay, so what do we get this time? It will be whatever that is. I guess, I think it's extra firing speed. That's pretty cool. All right, good job, Sparks. This is super fun, I like it. Wait, was that it? That can't be it. And there's much more. You'll be able to deal with these guys much faster if you use a power-up. Just eat any power-up butterfly, then press the jump button. Your power-up is shown in the top right of the screen. All right, Um. so eat this butterfly, and then press the jump. Oh, look at that. That is super cool, so I was doing the wrong thing. All right, well, now I'm not. What about this one then? Is this the same thing? It's okay, there's only one type of power up then maybe? I thought that maybe there was more than one. That's still super cool. All right. Looks like you're ready, Sparks. If you need any more guidance, just choose the controls option from the pause menu. Gotcha. This is super cool and there are a couple gems again this level. It looks like we have an egg and 200 gems. So awesome, awesome stuff. <laughs> Look at how big the gems are compared to little sparks. This is so cool. He's been by our side the entire time and now finally we get to play as him. Isn't that just super awesome? Was that 25 right there? I think that was. All right. Whoa, watch it. Ow, that hurt. Gotta be careful then. Don't wanna mess up. And now we have some of our power up here. That is actually really nice. Very cool. Oh, do we have to destroy this box? Yes, we do. If we don't have to destroy the box, more crabs will keep coming out, which is very creepy. I don't know if we can just charge for them. What is this? Oh, this like spread shot. Oh, that's super cool. Oh man, they can make a whole game out of this. <laughs> just like a mini little game. That'd be so cool. They did like a little spin-off, like Sparks' is Great Adventure or something, I don't know. So we need to find our way into there somehow. This is a little bit of a big room. Oh, probably to open up this door, gotcha. There you go. Let me destroy everybody and everything in this room first, if I can. 
And I guess I can't use Sparks to help me find gems because he, you know, we're playing as Sparks. Weird, I don't know if we have anything that'll destroy the electricity. Uh, for right now, I'm just gonna do this. We can definitely destroy these guys. Got it. And got it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And then what's going on in here? We got ourselves another power up. We get the green key. All right, let me move back then. I like the little charge move, that's always helpful. Open up this door and watch it, buddy. I don't know if I had the charge him or not. This one was really simple. It was just a, uh... what is this butterfly? Oh, can I destroy this now? No, okay. But I guess I'm impenetrable for a little bit, which is always cool. So yeah, I have the blue key. Oh no, I have the yellow key, Never mind. All right, very cool, very cool. Got him. Got some gems over this way. Our power's about to end, but not before I get some stuff. What does that do? Ooh, that gets rid of the shield? Nice, okay, so wish that was around before for the other one. What is this? Oh, it's like a spread shot. That's super cool. How are we doing on gems? We only need like 52 more then. So we're getting there. What is going on over this way? Oh yeah, okay, this one's down as well. Great. Go ahead and get rid of it. Just like that, and that's gonna be another five gems. And open up the blue door. Get a spread shot. Ooh, and it also makes it for any enemy to destroy. They start shooting out little shots as well. So it's just like this huge like spread of things. If you can actually land it on them. All right, gotcha. Ooh, that was really good. That was my last one. Got it. I, oh, these guys are a lot more difficult, which makes it much harder to get to the little box. Got it though. There we go, okay, we're good, we're good. Over 6,000 gems in total too, pretty crazy. Got ourselves a little save point. Whoa, big crab, big crab, I wasn't ready for this. Oh, this guy's creepy, I don't like him. Where's Spyro when you need him? Oh gosh, Oh, yeah, get rid of those nasty claws. Now he's shooting rockets at us, I don't like that. This is actually super cool though. Come on, get him, ow, was not expecting that one. Hold on. Come on, come on, ow. So that butterfly just gave us more health. There we go, we got him. Oh, and we saved Nora. Who's your crawl daddy? <laughs> All right, well that's the trophy we got. We got that egg too, and we can leave whenever. But I wanna collect all the gems first, make sure we've gotten all that done. And there we go, all 200 gems as well. That was a ton of fun! Oh my gosh, I loved it. So we are definitely going to keep doing those as we make our way through the rest of the game. Uh, so I think that was everything we needed to do in World 1. We've now gotten World 1 100% completed. So now we'll be moving on to World 2 and just basically doing the same thing, cleaning up whatever might need to get done. Nice work, Sparks. You've beaten the Crawdad King and found the lost egg. Not only that, but some of the dragon magic seems to have rubbed off on you. Oh. Now you can pick up gems when they're even further away from Spyro. Oh, that's a really cool upgrade. I sort of wish I did this sooner, <laughs> but I don't know, I just sort of did the way it felt right. Sparks has already recovered the egg from the crawdad farm, but he can go back if he wants to practice. Uh, no. But uh, yeah, that was very cool. So we're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and move on over to the midday gardens and try to do basically the same exact thing. All right, so here we are at the Midday Gardens World Bamboo Terrace. Doobie so yeah, we, we've, uh, wait, what? Doobie doobie doo. I guess I just say random stuff when, when we've already completed the project for him, or the project, the goal, the objective, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, we'll be just trying to look around and try to get done what we can. I think there's a Bentley thing here, so yeah, that's what we'll be trying out now. So, oh boy, get across, perfect. And, yeah, this way. And there it is, Bentley. So let's go on in and see what we can collect uh, from here. A fine day for a bit of a walk. I was just heading to the top of my favorite hill. All right, well, have fun on the hill. Oh, it's him again, a little bro. Hey, I think I saw some Rhinox run up to the top of that hill with an egg. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Not really much context with this one. <laughs> I would go on my favorite hill. Oh, hey, they had an egg. <laughs> All right, well, guys, it doesn't really need too much context, and ooh, broke that open. We got more of these Rhinox over this way. Oh gosh, you know what? Get out of here, not happening. Yeah, hey, hey buddy, you're done for. 
Can we just freeze them? I don't think we can. Oh, they're hard to hit first. Wait, where's Sparks at? Are we still at full health or are we at no health? No, we have green Sparks, gotcha. All right, buddy. Don't you do it. Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him, good. I missed a couple gems back here though, so you better not want to try to get to them. Very good. Is that little bug still over here? I would love to get the extra health, but it looks like I already took him out. All right, never mind. But yeah, we have 141 gems to get, so let's get to it. And we also have one egg, so one egg shouldn't be too bad. It's basically just gonna be completing the objective, I gotta imagine. Oh, here comes another one, ready, set, boom! That wasn't too bad. And he doesn't seem very impressed. Oh, that was TNT. How was I supposed to do, what was I supposed to do about that? I don't know. Anyways, get that, very good. That is not TNT, luckily, so I should be able to make it. Oh, he's chasing after it. All right. Oh, oh no, okay, I got to him before he could get to me. That's always good. I don't think I have a Sparks right now, so I'm trying to get this dude. You get back here. There we go. Oh, and that was an extra life as well which is really lucky because that brings Sparks back up to full health instead of uh, just one more point of health. Whoa, whoa, that just jumps right over us. Okay, whatever. I gotta go ahead and deal with these guys now. Boom, and boom, and gotcha. Awesome. So let's grab all of these right here. This is a cool little hidden room. I like it. And where did you run off to? You're right here as well. Ah, oh, couldn't beat you to the punch there. So we're doing pretty well with getting gems. These things are spinning out a lot of them. Oh, oh no, that's where we started. I was like, what's that down there? We're already there, been there, done that. Oh, I see an extra life over this way, so definitely wanna grab this and a couple of gems to boot. Got it, 10 more there. Another five here, and boom, extra life. What are we at with lives? 30 in total, whoa! Almost walked right off the edge there. I would've had to come back through. Um, whoa, what happened? I just moved to the left slightly and he just kept moving. Guess maybe he like slid off or something. That's not good, I gotta walk all the way back around now. He's not the fastest of runners, so it's a bit of a problem. It would be cool if he had some kind of charge, but he does not. All right, well we can cut a little corner over this way at the least. That'd be good. I hear some of those panda heads rolling around. I just don't want to deal with the D big TNT block, but I don't know, it's weird. Do I really have a choice? Because I attacked it and it hurt us before. Uh, yep, well that hurt us anyways. Oh, we're squished! <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't you dare. Okay, buddy. Go, come on. Oh, he missed. I missed too, but. Oh, and there's the egg, which we'll get in a second. I just wanna beat this dude up. Get out of here. And this, how many do we have in total? We just need a couple more, which are all hopefully in here. Uh, not quite. Oh yeah, oh, okay, quite indeed. Very cool. So what do I do with the egg? There we go, we get Brubick. Hi, Brubick. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. <laughs> you seem to be having fun. Alrighty, well with that done, we've gotten actually all six of the eggs, and I think, yep, the level 100% complete, so we're good to make our way out of this one. Very simple, but very fun as well, so I guess maybe this episode won't be as long. I thought there was a lot more to do, but honestly, it hasn't been so bad so far. Do you have anything more to say? Hey, I think I saw No, nope, not at all. He, he disappeared. Okay then. All right, so now all we're looking for is the Sparks level, which I think is somewhere nearby. Yep, right over here. Hello, Zoe, Hi, how are you doing? Spyro. Hi, Sparks. I've located another lost egg. If Sparks is up to it, he can try to rescue it from Spider Town. Oh no, not Spider Town. I mean, all the crabs in the previous Sparks level were tough enough. I don't like crabs, I don't like spiders, they're creepy. Oh boy. Well, we'll figure something out, I'm sure. Maybe now, you know, without as many tutorials, it'll be pretty easy just to sort of burn through it, but we'll find out together. I really like it, though, it's a ton of fun. Oh yeah, no even talking to Zoe this time. We just into the level, super duper creepy, but we'll get to it. So there's a key right here, and here's a spider one, you know. Do I have to charge these guys? I do not, that actually just hurt me a bunch. I don't know what I do about all the shots that were going at me there, but I have a key now which I guess opens that. Sort of hard to tell if it would or not, but I suppose it does. Let me get this butterfly, that gets me blue. All right, was I green before? I guess, you know, a certain amount of damage we take would change colors. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Wait, how do I? Yeah, there we go. Can't I yeah, go backwards like this? This is what I was trying to do. 
It's a little weird, though. All right, no, no, no. Oh, here's more, here's more, here's more. Because that way we can move backwards away from them and still shoot at them. And that could be a good advantage to take. Got it. Very nice. I hope, I can only sort of hope that we're going the right way. Oh no, no! Oh, see, it's super weird to do, though. Come on. You know what? If I have to, it sprays all over the place, too. It's crazy. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, but what do you do about that? That's crazy weird. All right, well, we got some shields, we got some health, we got a power up, and we got the egg. Not the egg, the key. <laughs> Not quite the egg, we're working on it though. Now that we've gone that way, we can go up this way, open this door, and get that. All right, destroy this thing a little bit, very good. I think this is just some extra health, which I would love to grab, and then Oh, not bad, our shield is ending, which is a shame, but we were able to make the most of it, so I'm not too upset. Oh, that one is super blocked off, which is a pain because these spiders really go right at you. So I'm just gonna run over this way really fast. Come on, oh boy, watch it, ow. <laughs> that hurt, it's still hurting. Okay, where's the little nest? There it is. I don't like the nest one bit. Ow. That's still really tough to dodge. And missed it. No, okay, I was able to dodge it before he attacked. And what is this? I hope this is extra health. Nope, it's a power up, which is good, but man, this is really challenging so far. Gonna have to be careful. Because with these guys, I don't think this is down yet, the shield. Yep, it's not down. Can I open this up? I can. Oh no, ooh, like what do you do about that? And there's another one. I mean, I guess sort of the thing is that it doesn't go out as far as I think. Gotcha, okay, that's why I have to do about it, just stay away. Press this button, get this key, and this thing should be good. Nice, okay, that's exactly what I wanted to see. I think we've gotten everything else in this room, so I can open this up and try to destroy these guys, ooh. What is the purple one again? We're about to find out when I pick it up. Oh, it's the rockets. Nice. And they sort of auto seek, which is pretty good. Get that? Okay, we're back up to almost full health. There's a key, which I guess could be used to not open this. You don't really know, but I guess I keep on getting worried that the wall will like zap me or something, but it doesn't really zap you. Okay, I'm moving this way. I'm destroying you guys. You guys are jerks. Oh no, there's more. Come on. <laughs> Oh, this is so tough! It's so difficult! Mm, destroy that, very good, very good, very good. And then, boom, destroy that thing. And once I do that, I can basically turn around and do that. And then, oh my gosh, got him. And ah, oh, the last one had to hit me there. Baloney, man, baloney. So if I hide in this corner, yeah, I can just shoot you without you doing anything. Now I got it, at least for those guys. Press this button so we can destroy that other nest that was down there, giving me some big problems. And it's right here. Oh gosh, came up closer to me than I had expected. Nice, okay. That's another gem, another one right here. And open up this door. I'm sure there'll be like a boss fight soon, so we do have to be careful. Oh, here come all these spiders. I don't like them. I don't like it. Mm, got it. Okay, there's more. There's always more. <laughs> Are you kidding me? There's always more. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, I do see this. I wanna grab that. That's our uh, spread shot. I'm not gonna to get any of these guys, really. Okay, okay, it's right here, right? This has to be it. It is. Okay, very cool. Turn around, start working on this. And now I can destroy this thing. Perfect. Oh, nice. Oh, there's one right here, he's sort of hidden in the dark. Ow, dude, you're destroying all my health here, I need that. Who knows when we might deal with a boss fight. Okay, well I think we just got a checkpoint, luckily enough, which is great because we got this giant dude. Ah, I don't like him. All right, where is he? Oh, I just used up the last of my power up. I was hoping to have a little bit more. You really need to use the strafe here, because honestly, he just spins and he spins and he spins. When is he going to stop? If ever. Uh, is he ever going to stop? How do I attack him? <laughs> oh, there's one last spider over here. That's the problem. 
<laughs> That's funny. All right, come on, keep beating him up. We get like two damage to him. There's not even like a numerical, you know, attribute to the damage. That's just what it seems like. To like 2% of his health. Come on, if I had powers, it'd be way easier. I've had to use them. Oh boy, dodge it. So the second we destroy all the spiders, we have another chance to attack him. Sometimes. Ow, but you can't. What the heck, I was trying to hit it and it went right through him. What was that? <laughs> this one is not as fun as the previous level. It's too tough. Okay, well luckily we just start back here. I didn't even start that battle with full health, so I think we'll be at a better advantage this time. I can only hope, and I sort of know a little bit more about what we're doing. Come on, please actually be in a position where I can shoot you. Destroy him, destroy him, destroy him. All right. Oh, did he destroy him himself? Huh, interesting, so he can do that. Got it. Oh boy. And then dodge it, we're doing way better this time. Very cool. Okie doke, okie doke. One more, one more, ow. <laughs> Whoa, move it, move it, move it. You destroy them for me. All right, you think they would turn against you know this the big spider because he keeps taking all their brothers and sisters out. Where is he? Oh my gosh, stop. Come on, we almost got you here. Okay, where's the last hidden spider that's just hanging out? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we got you. Awesome, we get Tootie. Hi, Tootie. Web be gone. Look at you. You seem like you're having fun. And we get one egg for that, which is the only egg in the level. And then there was one gem up this way, which boom, is our 200th gem. Very cool, so this level's 100% complete, and with it, the Midday Gardens is fully complete, which is awesome. So now we can move on to the third world, and hopefully everything will turn out okay there. But I know that uh, Zoe's probably gonna talk to us. This is pretty cool, I love these bonus levels. They really did think outside of the box for this third game, It was a, it's, it's a lot of fun, so yeah. So now we're at the fireworks factory from Evening Lake where there's a number of things we gotta do. First thing we gotta do is head over this way, apparently. I think we need to get into this cannon, though. Oh, I love this song. This is a pretty cool one. Um, but yeah, we, maybe we can get into here, and this will launch us somewhere we need to be. This level was a bit confusing when we first went through it. There was just a couple things I didn't really get, but hopefully everything will turn out okay this time. I'm gonna go ahead and charge it or something. You know what, I'm just gonna leave you be. Yeah, we gotta go this way. Get rid of this dude, get rid of that dude. And where in the world is the portal? It's always by the end of the level, which I guess could be appreciated. And yeah, it's this guy for Agent Nine. Come on in, it's laser time. All right, let's do it. Hey, Spyro, I'm helping a kid named Handel recover some secret rocket plans the sorceress stole. You know I'm always ready to kick some Rhinoc booty. All right, we'll get to it. So yeah, he's kicking some Rhinoc booty. We're gonna help him out. Oh, this is cool. Hi, Agent Nine. Behind those doors are some pretty scary ninjas. I bet you could use your sharpshooter skills to take them out. Remember, press the attack button to shoot, and use the roll left and roll right buttons to dodge left and right. All right. Well, defeat the ninjas and find the baby dragon egg, uh, and we can go into sniper mode and stuff. Pretty gosh darn cool. Ooh, look at this. It's like totally first person as well. I really like that. Oh, I really like that, that's super cool. So, let's go ahead and get started with this first, get an extra life, cause why not? Up to 31 lives so far. And yeah, we have at least one egg we gotta get here. Whoa, oh, okay, hold on. And, oh gosh, the door keeps closing in on us. That's fine, that's fine. And I don't know if there'll be any secrets around here, so we'll try to find those as well. But I, I think we need to yeah, destroy the ninja box, so all the ninjas are hopping out of that. But there's actually quite a few levels we need to get here in the Evening Lake. Uh, we need to do this one. There's another level. I think it's the Speedway, which we couldn't complete because we needed Hunter, who was at the time captured by the bunny girl. I'm forgetting her name right now. But yeah, that's why we couldn't do that. So we'll have to do that after this, and then we'll do the Sparks level, and that'll be pretty cool. But yeah, we're, we're, sooner or later, we'll be all prepared to take on the Sorceress for next episode. I see that ninja up there on the ceiling. Hold on. I'm gonna have to find out where these guys are coming in from. There's probably another ninja box somewhere that I gotta deal with, or not. Oh, well, there, there is, it's, just, it's way far away from here. <laughs> too many ninjas, man, too many ninjas. Got it, and got it. What is with this dude in the floor? Get him out of there. Poor dude stuck. Whoa, watch it. <laughs> There's the ninja box. 
Okay. Where can I get a ninja box? <laughs> that feels like really good house security. Just like, put that in your front yard, nobody will try to steal from your house. Well, I hope nobody tries to do that anyways. But, you know. Anyways, we got the, oh gosh, so many of them, it's an army! <laughs> get rid of all of them. Wowie. Is there any way to get out of the first person mode? I suppose not. It's very interesting, for sure. Oh wait, I missed one. Go and get it. I'm sure there's a thousand ninjas behind me. No. Why are they not behind me right now? Who knows? It's also very hard to tell if we miss any gems here, so we'll just have to be very diligent with it. Okay, these are some of the few enemies that don't give you any gems for defeating them, just because I guess they just indefinitely spawn. All right, get you, get these guys. Come on, get rid of them. Anything up here we may be missing? I don't think so. It's yeah, trying to look around for any kind of like balloons that might have some gems for us. Cause you never know. So many of them, so many, so many. And I see these dudes up here. I wanna get rid of them. Got them. And got them, cool. Plenty of stuff left to get though. So, can't chill out just yet. Looking for any kind of, you know, sneaky little ninja box. Oh, you know what? There's no sparks for this level at all. I didn't even realize, but on the bottom left, we have 100 health. This is supposed to be, I guess, like one of those classic first person shooters you would see on like the Super Nintendo or something. Okay, watch it. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Somebody walked in and then walked back out. Destroy the ninja box real fast. Hey, leave me alone. I'm just trying to destroy your box. There it is. I noticed I missed a purple gem way back here. Well, now I haven't. Very cool. And what about right here? It is a purple gem. So we seem to be doing okay. I don't think I've missed anything yet. I'm gonna try my best. But because of that, it's harder to pick up things with sparks because sparks isn't here. You know, like our our reach for gems isn't as wide, I think. So it's just something good to keep in mind. Um, We only need 60, or no, 70 more gems. So. Hopefully we can find that here. What are you doing? We're just running running in place. This room seems like, oh, I was gonna say a dead end. It isn't exactly. <laughs> there we go. And wait, I didn't pick this one up. Got it, so now we only need 50. So we're still missing a few, but it's Patty. Hello, Patty. <laughs> You're free. So with that done, whoa, what is happening? Oh no! We gotta save him! How much time do we have to get to him? I don't know. Let's just go and try to get to him as fast as we can. Oh, we gotta get rid of this ninja box. Got it. Oh, did that drop a gem? It does, okay. Oh, hey, move it, buddy. So there's no like timer for getting there, thank goodness, because I'm not gonna do a very good job getting there soon with all of these enemies. Now it's getting a bit more intense and a bit more involved to actually survive all of this. Go ahead and destroy that ninja box. And get rid of that ninja. Very cool. Okay, so we're doing all right. I got that. Whoa, watch it, ninja dudes. Okay. <laughs> this is going on longer than I thought it would. Oh, well, we're down to 66 health here. Got it. Okay, so far so good. Come on. Oh, nice, nice. Got him. Okay, pick up this gem. I just gotta hope I haven't missed anything now. So we still have a good couple of gems to get. Destroy the box first, destroy the box first. Nice, we got it. Okay, keep moving. Did I get it? No, I did not. I'm like right on top of it, I can't get it. Super weird. Makes me think that I've definitely missed a couple. But I'm trying my best. And there's another, ow, dude, watch it. There's another ninja box over this way, I believe. You bet there is. Got it, okay, so grab that, destroy you guys, watch it, buddy. Yeah, okay. And is there anything more in here? Uh, or is this, a, is this the way I'm supposed to go? I suppose not. Uh, must be some other door. Yeah, this guy's running away. I think I found it. And, oh boy, dodge him. All right, where's the ninja box? No ninja box in here? If you say so. Keep going. Oh no, here it is, ninja box. There's a lot more ninja boxes than I was expecting that, so it may just be enough gems to make everything work. Here's another one. Destroy it quickly. And there's another one that way. 
This is a bit of a maze. Which way am I supposed to go? I think this is the bonus room. Yeah, okay. Not that I need in here. Hopefully this isn't making any of you guys dizzy though. All right. I'm trying to strafe, but honestly, it's just easy to use left and right. Whoa, what happened? Oh, oh, I saved you. Not even intentionally. What? I, I wasn't even trying to do that. Um. Uh. Thanks for rescuing me. <laughs> You'd better look after this egg before the Rhinox try to blow that up too. I think I broke the game. I'm still way over on the other side of the corridor. <laughs> The ninjas are trying to attack me. I must have like, one of the ninjas must have opened the door. Oh my gosh, everywhere. Um, one of the ninjas must have opened the door, which had then, uh, my shot went through the opening of the door and broke three, broke through the kid. What is his name? Uh, Handle? I think it's Handle. That is really weird. But we saved a dragon there. We got ourselves. Oh, nice, all 600 gems in this level. So this level should be 100% complete. That is awesome. Do you have anything else to say? Thanks for helping me, Agent Nine. Those Rhinox never knew what hit him. All righty, well, we are out of here. What a weird situation. But now we're good. We're good to get out of this level and just go like this and boom, we are out of Firework Station or Firework Factory. And we'll be moving on over to the Speedway where Hunter was. So if I remember correctly, yep, Hunter's right here at the beginning. Look out, Spyro. There's a really big sheep UFO around here, and it's trying to get me. I snatched up a dragon egg it was trying to abduct, and now it wants revenge. Oh you boy. Here, I'll lure the UFO down the river of honey. All right then, should Hunter go for it, go ahead. I'll cover you. Okay, here I go. All right, so we get to play as Hunter yet again. Oh, oh, so what do I do here? I gotta jump, I can move around a little bit. Can I shoot or anything? I guess not. This was actually pretty cool though. I mean, the controls seem odd and it's sort of a bit tough to tell where I'm exactly going to hit or land, but honestly, that seems to be a running theme with the Hunter mini games, so I can't be too surprised at this point. <laughs> I mean, the Hunter mini games have been fun, but they've all had sort of a an amount to, of weirdness to them that have made them hard to control or really understand what in the world is even going on. This alien is very close. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think those fans are big enough on his uh, airboat to really propel him as fast as he's going. And you would think it would take a lot more energy because honey is a lot thicker than water. But hey, you know what? I'm questioning too many things. It will inspire the dragon. It's a fantasy world. This, this, he, this, yeah, this alien sheep is not so happy, but was that it? He crashed. Aha, did you see that? Nobody outraces a cheetah. And look, I didn't even drop the egg. That was by far the easiest hunter mission yet. Most of them are mildly challenging at the easiest and really tough at the mo like at the worst, you know? Okay, cool. All right, Sparks is gonna talk to us, but we're just gonna exit the level, right? Because I think that's all we have to do. There's no gems we can really get in this level. So there we go, we got the egg there, which means all we gotta do is get the Sparks level done for the evening lake. All right, so the Sparks area is up here in the lake, so yeah, that's pretty cool, and let's go on over. Princess Hi. Amy showed me a place called Starfish Reef. She said there's an egg hidden in there. I think Sparks should check it out. All right, so enter the Starfish Reef bonus world, you betcha. So this should be pretty cool. I mean, we're getting pretty used to these at this point, but they are still pretty fun to do um, because there should be this one and then probably one more. So four in total isn't so bad. I mean, I think there's gonna be one for the fourth area, but then beyond that, we'll be all set to go. I mean, have we completed? I think we completed every single world in the fourth area or every single level in the fourth area. So that one should be the easiest, you know? Don't have to do anything more than the Sparks level. Oh gosh, Starfish Reef. Of course, Angry Starfish, which honestly is a lot better than spiders or crabs. I'll gladly take it. Not as creepy. Might be difficult. We'll have to wait and see. Um, so far, looking like it. Uh, there we go, that helped. Okay, that could have been better. <laughs> that was sort of my thought. It is tough though. So far these levels are out, a real challenge. Um, and a lot to get used to. All right, got it. And, what was that? I don't know, I guess, oh, Zoe uh, checkpointing us, gotcha. Oh, we got a blue one right here. This will be some extra shield, which maybe I should have picked up on my way back. I feel like I've definitely missed out on a couple of things. Uh, I don't know if I should go back. Okay, so the big starfish break into smaller starfish. Gotcha, what is this? Oh, we got like an exploding mine? We are in the water technically, aren't we? So that makes sense, that's pretty cool. Okay, got a couple more gems. Got ourselves some extra health. Can I go this way or no? Oh, I can. 
I definitely have missed some stuff. Uh, I just gotta hope I'm going sort of the wrong way. Dude, seriously, thank you. But I don't know if I am. There we go, we got him. <laughs> so I might have to turn back. Hmm, that'll be a bit of a pain. But we'll make it work. Got it. Moving, wait, 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 give me, there we go. Moving back this way. What do we got? Oh, oh boy. Okay, we gotta get rid of this, like, yeah, the conch shell, if we wanna be able to get rid of all those starfish. So we got five more mines we can shoot, trying to save them for when we really need them, you know, against the tougher enemies that we might wanna just take out in one hit. Ooh, like, you. Yeah, that was good, that was really good. And then get rid of this, wait, hold on. Get rid of that for sure. Wait, what, I didn't get rid of it? There we go. Oh my gosh, <laughs> calm it down. This is why you need this blue butterfly, isn't it? Wait, that's not a, oh, okay. I thought that that was for the shield. I guess not, maybe the shield isn't in this level. Because I swear that the shield would give that before. There we go, we got it. But we took way too much damage, yikes. Maybe now's a good time to turn around and check the other directions because I definitely missed some stuff and I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna turn around and try to go all the way back to what I think is the beginning. I can't go that way anymore. It's blocked off. Uh-oh. Um, I think I can't turn around, yeah. So I might have to either like backtrack maybe after the boss, maybe everything opens up, or I might have to replay the whole level, or maybe it started me from the beginning. I don't think it started me from the beginning though. Weird, very odd. Okay, destroy, this dude stinks. They're really tough to dodge. Got it, got it. I'm definitely grabbing this. Oh, come on. And then, got it. Getting this gem, and then I've gone up this way, but I don't think I really did much. I can't remember. Okay, that worked. Excellent. And, okay, there we go. I don't know what these do. Oh, they, I guess, that one healed me a little bit, so that's always good. This is weird so far. Not even halfway through all the gems. Oh, I'll keep going, keep trying to figure things out. Okay, now this one opens. Let me go back then. What if I just hang out at it for a moment? No, it's not doing nothing. That's weird. Okay. Oh, wait, I keep on, I thought there were a bunch of red gems there. Then I realized they're the starfish. <laughs> I don't know why I made that mistake. It's only a mistake to make. There we go. Oh, we're back up the full. Let's not lose it all. Okay, where's the shell at that they're spawning from? It's gonna be around here. I wanna deal with it as soon as possible. Got it. Okay, pretty good. We got this dude, which I'm far enough away from him now to make that work okay. What's weird is that we haven't had a single enemy that we need to charge. Like if I charge right now, it just hurts us. So like, yeah, we haven't had a single enemy we needed to charge since the tutorial. So I don't know what that's about. Why do you even teach us to do that? Okay, we looped around this nice and fine. I can open up this door and we could try to deal with these dudes. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. I gotta dodge those guys. I also wanna take them out. There we go, pretty good, pretty good. I like how that just spreads shots everywhere in a really good way. Nothing up that way, that's fine with me. I mean, hey, maybe we didn't actually miss anything. Maybe I was just misconstrued on what was happening there, and we've gotten everything so far. I mean, I'm at 142, which is quite a lot for a level that only has 200 gems, but is this gonna be the boss? Yes, it is. Giant Manta Ray is really cool. Um, I would like to dodge him for as long as possible, though. Uh, Wait, I don't see him. Oh, there he is, ow! Hold on, let me grab this. And that'll put us to what, 182. So like, yeah, that is pretty close. I mean, this dude, he doesn't seem to have anything fancy. Like, he's not just spinning out a bunch of spiders. Ow, 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 that hurt. Oh, there's another butterfly for healing now, which is good. The only problem with this one is he's really fast. Hard to keep up with him. There we go, there we go, that's gonna get him pretty good. Oh, he gets smaller, he breaks up into smaller ones. Okay, that's a little bit more complicated. There we go, we got rid of that one, and... Got him, very good. Let me get this, oh, we got Anishan. I've never heard that name before, very interesting. Oh, you're in a little bubble, that's adorable. All right, goodbye, one out of one eggs, but of course, like I said before, we're not quite done. What is down this way? There's like a little extra treasure room, okay. 
And there we go, that's what this little door was too. The, okay, that makes sense. Never mind, we never missed anything after all. And as you can see, we got everything. So we can head out of this level and hopefully uh, into the last world to get the last Sparks level done. We'll find out in a moment. When I saw that giant stingray, I thought you were a goner, Sparks. But you sure showed him. And now the magic from the egg has made you even stronger, allowing you to take one more hit for Spyro. <gasps> Really? Oh, that's so cool. She didn't say anything about the, uh, the what's it called? Um, the, the previous level. So I don't know if we got a new ability for that one or not, but that is super exciting. I wonder, like, I don't know if there's any enemies around. It'd be cool to see how many hits that really is. But yeah, that's everything done in the Evening Lake world, which means all we have now is the Midnight Mountain world, which if I checked before, I'm pretty sure is everything except for the Sparks level. So I'll go ahead and try to find that and we'll get to it. All right, so here's the last level, potentially. Spyro, I've got a special task for Sparks. Oh, no, we can't do it yet. So that'll have to be something that is saved for later then. Because beyond that, we have everything done except for that level and the egg for sale, which I believe is probably going to be something that I can't do quite yet. Um, so with that being said, we're all set up to take on the Enchantress in the next episode. And yeah, that was pretty good progress. So we got everything else done in the previous level, so I don't have to worry about them anymore. As you can see on the top right, our game total percentage is 94%. And we have almost nine hours in the game. 32 lives, 146 eggs, and 14,800 gems. So we only have 200 more gems to get before we get in here. That is super duper exciting. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Spyro the Reignite. A trilogy. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Sparks so I know you've watched at the end that you are a Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.